I studied a Bachelor of Zoology, so I, that was three years from 2011 to 2013. I did all, all of it uh, on campus. Lots of new friends, lots of people doing zoology as well, so you always had support. You always had what they call academic mentors to help you with your essays and report writing and stuff like that, so there was always help. As an Indigenous student, UNE also has the Arawa Centre which does the same thing, like they help you organise tutors for specific units um, if you're struggling in a particular one. They have a computer lab there that's 24-7. You can just um, swipe your card in there and have access to it. So the support here at UNE is there's always somebody there to help and that's willing to help. The Tiwi Islands, it's an amazing place to go, just the the strong uh, ties they still have with their culture, all the traditional um, ways that they still follow today. They still mainly hunt for their food. They still prefer to go out bush. They all go walk about whenever they need. You know, it's just amazing to see how strong their cultural ties still are. A lot of people, like if you just drove past and seen all the dogs there, you would think that none of them were owned. Like. Um, once you even spend a night there, all the dogs, most of the dogs there have owners. They go home of a night time, um, they get fed, but yeah, very strong connections to the dogs. They know that there's a problem in how many dogs there are. We haven't really set a goal in terms of how many dogs, or the percentage of dogs that need to be dissexed to call the population controlled, which I think is our next step especially in terms of how close rabies is to the Australian borders. Um, so controlling the dog populations is, is key to controlling rabies once it gets here. Um, so at the moment, like if rabies came now, there's so much, um, there's too many dogs, you wouldn't be able to catch them all to vaccinate them, um, especially the cheeky dogs, the feral dogs, the dingoes. Once one dog comes in contact with another dog, like they've got it and if they bring it into the community um, that's every dog uh, like rabies is really going to change Australia once it hits here and what we plan to do will hopefully stop it if not at least slow it down.